Welcome, new generation leaders, to the second part of the lesson, Natural Resources. This is your teacher, Mrs. Ayala. Remember that this topic has been divided in three parts. This is the second one. And next week is the last part of this interesting topic. We will have different activities today that will help you to be successful during this learning process. Let's watch this amazing video sent by our friends from Monkey's Trip where we can appreciate the amazing natural resources that we have in our country. Pay attention. the view from the Baru Volcano Spectacular. So guys, now it's time to see the objective for this lesson. Natural Resources, part two. The objective for this lesson are to identify vocabulary related to environmental issues and to design messages that promote taking care of natural resources. Are you ready to get started? Go ahead. Okay, now it's time to see if you have read the additional material that I sent you to your email and answer a few questions today. Tell me the first thing you think of when you see these words, plants, soil, and water. Let's start with plants. Okay, Jose, you are the first volunteer, tell me. Around 70,000 plant species have been utilized all over the world for medicine. Perfect, that's incredible. Susan? Avocados and tomatoes are actually fruits. Mm. Juanita, a cucumber is not a vegetable. It is a fruit as it has seeds. Wow, gorgeous. Tell me, Brian, banana contains a natural chemical that makes people feel happy? Wow, that's interesting too. 
Pedrito. Apples, onions, and potatoes have the same taste. Mm. How can it be? Possibly. If we taste this by closing our nose while eating them, it will have the same taste. I have to taste that. Tell me, Rebecca. Uh -huh. Plants convert carbon dioxide, water and minerals into food when they use energy from sunlight. And this process is known as photosynthesis. That's interesting too. Delmira, tell me. Cabbage has 90% of water content. Wow. The last one, Sophie. Banana is actually an Arabic word. Mm, I didn't know that. For fingers. Okay, that's excellent. Let's see the next word, soy. Volunteer, Pepe, tell me. Soil serves as media for grows all kind of plants. That's gorgeous. Anita? Soils modifies atmosphere. How? Oh. By emitting and absorbing gases. Mm, that's incredible. The last one. Albert. Soils process recycled nutrients including carbon so that living things can use it over and over again. Wow, that's excellent. One more, one more. Tell me, Andres, tell me. Soils act as a living filter to clean water before it moves into an aquifer. Wow, thank you. What about water? Elba, tell me. Almost all Earth water is in the ocean. Perfect. Okay. Aida, tell me. Most fresh water is in ice. Alex, tell me. A lot can live in one drop of water. Mm. Interesting. A lot of what? A lot of bacteria and viruses. And it could also have fish eggs, baby crabs, plankton, or even small worms. Wow, thank you. Arnulfo. We get to see water in three different states. Can you mention those states? Uh -huh. Solid, liquid, and gas. Wonderful. So now, now let's watch this important fact about soil and, and plants. Pay attention. Soil is the loose material that covers the Earth's surface. In most parts of the world, land is covered by soil. You can think of soil as the living skin of the earth. It gives plants the nutrients they need to grow. And plants give people and animals food to live. Soil also provides building materials, homes for animals, and things we use every day. Soil is not just dirt. It is an important natural resource that provides the foundation for life on Earth. Plants get the food and water they need to grow from soil. Plants absorb food called nutrients from their roots. Besides providing food and water, soil helps plants stand tall by holding their roots in place. When roots take hold in the ground, they keep soil from washing away. For example, tree roots prevent soil erosion by reaching deep and holding soil together. Far 
farmers want to plant their crops in the best soil with the most nutrients. To prepare soil for planting seeds, a farmer uses a tractor to till the soil. Tilling mixes up the topsoil so the nutrients are near the surface. Crops grow in different types of soil. Rice grows in soil with clay that holds a lot of water. Pineapple grows in sandy soil. And carrots grow best in a mixture of soils. Topsoil, where plants grow, is a precious natural resource because it takes a long time for rocks to become soil. Farmers try to conserve the topsoil by rotating the kinds of crops they plant and by controlling irrigation so soil doesn't wash away. When crops are harvested, the farmer lets the plants left behind decay and become part of the soil again, giving back nutrients. So you are now better informed about the importance of soil. These are part of our natural resources, right? So what are natural resources, guys? Sophie? Natural resources are anything that people can use which come from nature. That's correct. So can you give me example of natural resources? Yeah, air, water, wood, oil, wind, energy, what else? Iron, coal, perfect. You are right. So how many sorts of natural resources exist? Who knows? Yeah, there are two sorts of natural resources as we review in our last class. Renewable resources and non-renewable resources. Perfect. So what are renewable resources? Tell me, Maria. It's one which can be used again and again. Right, Maria? Give me some examples. Soil, sunlight, water. Yeah, they are renewable resources. But in some circumstances, even water is not renewable easily. So wood is a renewable resource, but it takes time to renew. And in some places, people use the land for something else. So soil, if it blows away, it's not easy to renew. And what are non-renewable resources? Virgilio, tell me. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's a resource that does not grow and come back. Excellent response. So we can also say that it is a resource that would take a very long time to come back. For example, Virgilian, coal, very good. Yeah, it is not renewable. Now that you realize that plant, soil, and water are the three main type of natural resources. Thank you guys for your oral participation. Now I want you to write. I want you to answer these questions. Why are plants important? According to your knowledge, could we live without plants? How do plants help us to stay alive? How do plants help animals? What is soil? Why is it important? What would our life be like without soil? Could we live without so soil? Why or why not? Could we live without water? What about plants and animals? How long could someone survive without water? 
So guys, at home, try to take a picture of this question and send the answer to your teacher. Look at the vocabulary. I want you to listen to the definition and get the word. Pay attention. Vocabulary. This is a clear liquid that has no taste or odor. Water. One of a large group of living things that you some like to make their own food. What is this? Plants. Correct. The mixture of gases that surrounds the earth. What is this? Air. Any carbon containing fuel formed from the remains of prehistoric plants and animals. What is this? Fossil fuels. Right. The top layer of the Earth's surface. What is this? Soil. The light of the sun. What is this? Sunlight. Perfect. Tiny, loose grains of round rock found on beaches in deserts. What is this? Sand. The Earth's natural satellite. What is this? Moon. The power or ability to make something work or be active. What is this? Energy, right? Okay, guys, according to the vocabulary, let's get the word. Guess the word. It is made of oxygen, nitrogen, and other gases and has no taste, odor, or color. What is it? Soil, water, or air? Pedrito? Air. Let's see. Hey, good. Coal, petroleum, and natural gas are example of Fossil fuel, plants or living things? Marta? Fossil fuel, let's see. Very good. Grasses, trees, vines, vegetables, cactuses, fern, and mosses are plants, fungus, and non-living things. Plants. Very good. It takes the form of rain, rivers, ocean, and lakes, and it is a requirement for most form of life. What is this? Streams, water, or liquid? Rafael? Water. Correct. The Earth's natural satellite. Mountain, sun, or moon? Medium? Moon. Let's see. Perfect, congratulations. Now our friend Megan from Tulane University has sent us a video talking about our natural resources. Pay attention. Hi again, everyone. Thanks for having me today, Teacher Grace. Today we're gonna to be talking about natural resources. Natural resources are so important to all of us, so I'm gonna tell you guys about some things that I can do to help reduce the amount that I use. One thing that I can do is I should turn off the lights whenever I'm not in a room, that way I'm not using extra electricity. Another thing is I should take shorter showers, <laughs> that way I'm not using extra water. Similarly, I can um, shut off the water when I'm brushing my teeth, that way I'm not leaving water running and being wasteful. Um, we all must take care of the environment because it's something that we rely on in our day-to-day -day lives. So I'd like you guys to all think about some things that you can do to help take care of our environment. Bye everyone. Thank you, Megan, for the information that you have shared. So guys, let's see if you paid attention to Megan and you can complete these statements by searching the word in this word search. The number one say, I can take care of natural resources. Resources. Ramon, number two. I take torture. Showers, good. It's here, right? Very good. Let me select another one. Number three, I can shut off 
Anita, tell me. I can shut off the water. What is it? The water. It's here, right? Very good. Number four. I should turn off. I should turn off. Samantha. The lights. Correct. The lights. Here is. Very good. Okay. Perfect. The last one. We almost. We almost. Must what? Pepe. Take care of the environment. That's a long phrase. Oh, here it is. Take care of the environment. Perfect. Good job, guys. Okay. As you could notice, Megan used models during her intervention. So let us refresh your memory on how to use it, the rules, and when to use them. As we saw in our previous class, there are a lot of different situations in which we need to use different modal verbs. Let's review some of them, but firstly, remember that modal verbs are part of a large category called auxiliary verbs. And these are verbs that are meaning to another verb. Modal verbs are special because they follow a strict set of rules and they are used in a very specific way. So we are going to review about some modal verbs we already mentioned during our last class. First, we have can. It can express ability, informal request, possibility, and informal permission. For example, in ability, I can speak turkey. And in informal request, can I have a glass of water? Possibility, anyone can become rich and famous. In formal permission, can I open the window? Let's see, the use of can't. Impossibility, you can't be 70. I thought you were about 30 years old. Let's see the next one, could. Okay, we can use could for asking for permission. Uh, could I borrow your book? Polite request. Could you say that again, more slowly? Ability in the past. She could read when she was four. Suggestion, we could try to fix it ourselves. Possibility, I think we could have another meeting later. Must. It expresses deduction or certainty. That must be Henry. They said he was tall with brown hair. Obligation, most, involve the speaker authority or opinion. For example, you must go to bed, said her mom. Look at the next one. Mustn't, prohibition. You must not swim in that river. It is full of crocodiles. May, it expresses possibility for example, he may run the marathon this year. Polite permission or request. May I go now? Yes, you may. My, this is the next one. It expresses possibility. You should pack an umbrella. It looks like it might rain. Or suggestion or request. It tastes very good thought you might add a bit more salt. But it should. Advice among others, you know? For example, you should visit your dentist at least twice a year. Will, it expresses promise. I will come here to meet you 
or challenge, I will break the record, records. Determination, we will pass the exam. Informal permission, can I open the window? Simple future, you will try to help yourself. So now look at the adventures of Gabriel and Grace. I can win the race. You should have a walk daily. Will you lend me your camera? Sure, but why do you need that? Will you go with me? Ha ha ha, of course I will. Amazing. You must hold my trophy after a competition. Oh my gosh. Now guys, let's see how we can form the models and some rules. Model formation, look at this structure. We have subject, modal, verb, base form, and the rest of the sentence. In subject, remember that you can use a noun or pronoun. And then the modal, then the base form of the verb. For example, in the modal, they stay the same for any subject. They don't change. If we are talking about a plural or singular, it doesn't change. And the base form of the verb, they, the main verb stays in its base form. If we are talking about the third person singular, the base form stays uh, in its base form. Let's see the first rule. We don't change or they don't change form to match the subject and they are always followed by the main verb in its base form, as you could see in the previous structure. For example, he, this is third person singular, then we have can, that is the model, and play, it keeps the same. Baseball, pretty good. He can play baseball, pretty good. Pretty well, sorry. Number two. Negative are formed by adding not between the modal verb and the main verb. So we have, you should play in our team. And in negative, you should not play in our team. Remember, between the modal and the main verb, you add the word not. And the third rule, questions are usually formed by swapping the subject and the modal verb. For example, they should visit our country. And for question, we swap. Should they visit our country? So now let's practice, guys. You have to match the picture to the correct uh, sentence. Can I get you a drink? Which picture do you think described? The third one, perfect. May I, I should call you? Number one, correct. Can I help you with your bags? Number four, good. You mustn't be late for work again. Number two, good job, great. Now, here you have to rewrite the sentences, putting the word in the correct order, okay? The first, we need the, it's a question, so we need the modal. Could, and then the subject, I, and then verb, have, and then the rest of the sentence, could I have, Another piece of cake, correct. Next, we have another sentence here. So we need the subject, which is the subject. My, my what? My sister, yes, it's a noun. My sister, now the, auxiliary, the modal, 
can. And the verb speak. The rest of the sentence. Four languages fluently. That's correct. Good job. Now the last one. We need the subject. We have that. Mm -hmm. Then modal, which is the modal? Most. Then the verb be. What else? That must be M and O else. Mm -hmm. Letter from that must be Emmanuel's letter from school. Good. Let's see the next one. You have to rewrite the sentences. Mm. Ask question and using negative. So let me select the pencil. Ready? Okay. Ask a question. I can help you clean up. Question. We have to put the modal first. Can I uh -huh, help the verb mm -hmm, help you clean up? Clean up. Very good. Question mark. Hector should study math with you. Should the modal first. Should Hector. Mm -hmm. Study, very good, the verb. Math. With you, and then the question mark. Sophia could drive us to the party. Then, could first. Then the subject, Sophia. And then the verb, drive. Very good. And the rest of the sentence and question mark. Good. Now in negative, Felix can repair your oven. So we need the not. So Felix can not, right, repair. Very good. Da, da, da. And the rest of the sentence. You should eat more vegetable. You shouldn't. Oh, this is a weird advice. You should not or you shouldn't eat. Very good. And the rest of the sentence. Rafa can swim well. So we have Rafa can cannot, right? Swim, correct. And the rest of the sentence. Now, guys, we have a question quiz. Look at this image for a while. So you have to examine this image, and then you will have five questions related to that. Let's start. They can start working on this issue. What is that? Hmm? They can start working on this issue now. Possess it ability, let's see. Yeah, that's correct. Ability. You could examine this issue in more. Request, possibility, or suggestion. Suggestion, see? Very good. Correct. Would you join us to be part of this solution? Possibility, permission, or invitation? Invitation, right. Okay. This could be the optimal solution. Ability, possibility, or permission? Possibility. Perfect. You must stop now. Obligation, request, or offering? B, request. 
No, that's incorrect. This obligation, guys. Good. So you have a photographic memory. Good. So now, guys, it's time for your assignment. I want you to record one minute, minute, talking about the importance of taking care of natural resources using Voki for Education. Here is the link that will show you how to do it, the step-by-step, -step, and how to create your own avatar from Voki for Education, and send the link to your teacher and classmates talking about the importance of taking care of natural resources. Stay tuned, guys. Remember that there is a blog with all this information that we have uploaded for you from 7 to 12. We upload it weekly there. And there is also a Microsoft team created for you and also my YouTube channel, TEL Mrs. Ayala, where you can find more useful resources. Remember guys, you need to stay safe during this pandemic, so that's why I have prepared this for you. Protected. Our special thanks to the Magister, Dida Crainton, who is the academic coordinator from the National Directory of Foreign Language Teaching. And thank you to Tulane University and Monkey Strips for those amazing videos that they have sent for my lessons. And for all these sponsors that made this lesson possible for you. Thank you. And I cannot live without saying this quote from Mike Littman. The fastest way to pass your own expectations is to add passion to your labor. Let me repeat that again. The fastest way to pass your own expectations is to add passion to your labor. Mike Littman. So see you guys. Thank you for your attention, your participation. See you next week with the third part of the lesson, Natural Resources. Goodbye, be safe.